Wildfires are engulfing western portions of the United States. It's becoming the most explosive wildfire season on record. Now, the government is taking some unprecedented measures to contain the blaze. CCTV's Ellen Scott has more. Nearly 100 wildfires are raging across the western United States. Fire experts say some of these western wildfires merge with one another to form one massive fire, approximately the size of Seattle. A mandatory evacuation was issued in north central Washington state Thursday night in the same area where three firefighters lost their lives earlier this week. They're all freaking out because they called when we were fleeing. And you just you say goodbye, you know, and we didn't know if we were going to make it. The drought, high winds and high temperatures are a recipe for disaster. The nearly 29,000 firefighters fighting the blaze can't keep up with the fire because it's moving in multiple directions. This is uh, an unprecedented cataclysm in our state. The deadly fire is calling for extreme measures. For the first time in Washington's history, they're asking for civilian volunteers. And they're even requesting help from the international community. More than 70 firefighting experts from Australia and New Zealand will arrive in Idaho this weekend. They'll be sent to work in California, Oregon, and Washington. Canada has already lent a hand by sending more than 100 firefighters to help battle the fires. According to the U.S. Forest Service, more than $150 million per week is being spent on fire suppression. In the town of Twisp, Washington, the mayor had this reaction to the fires. Our second year in a row uh, of having such a crazy wildfire season. And uh, obviously because we're very worried that we've evacuated the entire town at this point. It's, it's gone into town limits, and uh, this is a very scary time for us all. It's a tragic scene with no end in sight. The National Weather Service projected strong winds and extreme fire danger through Friday. Ellen Scott, CCTV.